Hi, I'm Bob Kovacs, and this is a review of the Panasonic AG-UX180 camcorder. This is a 4K camcorder at a reasonable price, less than $4,000. One of its really good features is it has a 20 times optical zoom lens that has a wide angle of 24 millimeter. That's the 35 millimeter equivalent, 24 millimeter. So it goes from 24 millimeters at the wide end to 480 millimeters at the telephoto end. As you can see, there's lots of controls and buttons, neutral density filter. All three of the lens controls can be adjusted manually. That's zoom, iris, and focus can all be adjusted manually. And there's, uh, it records on two SD cards that go underneath this flap. Underneath this flap are the audio controls, which are extensive, and it uses XLR audio inputs got two of them, both for uh, left and right channel. With a nice 20 times zoom lens, you get this zoom control rocker up here that gives you smooth servo control of the zoom speed. You can go slow or fast, all controlled by the amount that you rock this switch up here. In back, there's a couple of flaps for connectors. You have a headphone connector and a power connector. Underneath this flap, you've got SDI video connectors and a variety of other connectors. There's also an XLR input for a microphone. There's an XLR microphone input up here as well. The back of the camera has a mount for the battery, as well as an HDMI output and a USB output that allows you to save files from the camera onto a USB device. The battery mounts in back, and Panasonic has a variety of batteries. The battery they ship with this camera will run it for hours. The battery has a button on it so you can check the charge status, and the charge status is also shown in the viewfinder. Here's the label information on the battery I received. There's a big lens hood at the front of the camera, which comes off by pressing this button back here. Press the button and twist, and the lens hood comes right off. The front of the lens has a 67 millimeter filter thread, so standard filters will go on. It also has an integrated lens cap. There's two ways to monitor the signal as you're shooting. There's this pull-out display, and there's this tilt-up eyepiece viewfinder with a monstrous eye cup. On top of the camera, there is a cold shoe mount so that you can put a shotgun mic or some other device up there. There is, underneath this flap, there's a start-stop button and also a zoom rocker so that you can zoom in and start and stop the camera while holding the handle and holding it down low. There is a whole bunch of different attachment points so you can attach the camera on a variety of things, hanging it from a boom or whatever, a, a jib of some sort. Of course, there's also a 3 8 and quarter inch hole on the bottom where you can mount it to a tripod. Over here is a mount for a shotgun microphone. So it's got an integrated shotgun microphone mount. It does not come with a shotgun microphone, but it does have a mount for a shotgun. The handle on top is really ergonomic. It's got this rubbery substance that's a little sticky so that when you grab it, there's no way it's gonna slip from your fingers. The UX180 camcorder has a one inch sensor in it. That has many advantages over other cameras that are this form factor that shoot 4K. Most of those have half-inch or two-third inch sensors, and the one-inch sensor really has some major advantages. The UX180 uses a 9.5 megapixel one-inch sensor. This means that when you're shooting DCI 4K, that's the cinematic version of 4K, which in the UX180 can be shot at 24 frames. When you're working in that, that means that you have 4096 pixels by 2160 pixels, and each pixel site is the maximum size. It gets the most amount of light, produces the clearest picture. Now the UX180 will also shoot what's called Ultra HD 4K or UHD 4K. That's 3840 by 2160. That's the version of 4K that's four times the resolution of HD. Here's a look at the camera's depth of field. Each of these bottles is about one inch apart. Autofocus on the UX180 is excellent. It reacted smoothly and transparently as I moved between these two bottles. I tried the camera out at the 2016 Marine Corps Marathon just to see how it would work in the field.
The UX-180 worked fine conducting a handheld interview. So you're at about the three mile point of the yes, Marine sir. Corps Marathon. What sort of injuries do you have to deal with at this point? So, so far we have um, a, a couple um, blisters and one was someone tripped and they, so they scraped the, their knee and then one more was a muscle cramp. I shot a lot of video at a construction site where the UX-180 shined with its smooth autofocus and its effective optical image stabilization. The 20 times zoom lens was great for getting close-ups. Getting wildlife shots was easy with the long zoom lens, and the large sensor's bokeh made the shots look pretty. Shooting in a dark corner of my basement with the UX-180 worked pretty well. I had to pull the signal up some, but the autofocus was dead on. I find the AG UX-180 very easy to use. Panasonic didn't have a complete manual with it, so they sent me a preliminary manual. But the fact is that I didn't even have to look at it. I got the camera. Everything was exactly the way I thought it should be. It was easy to step through the menus. It was easy to use. The controls fell right to where my fingers wanted them to be. For the cost of the AG UX-180, it is a really good camera for television news operations, documentaries, commercial production, indie filmmakers. It's just the right price points and the right features that you're going to want and the right quality with its one-inch sensor that allows you to do some more cinematic effects. So I recommend this camera for less than $4,000. It's a lot of camera.